Hey everyone, today is a little bit different just because I want to talk about uh, homemade as opposed to buying it in the store. So you've got things like these, granola bars, um, energy bars, things that you're going to take with you on a hike, take with you camping, take with you on a bike ride, any serious exercise if you want to have a snack afterwards. Um, these are great. They do a very good job um, for giving you back energy without having a full meal. However, diabetics and people who are having issues with sugar, same thing, um, might not be able to use these as often or eat these as often because they are typically very high calorie. They have a lot of, even if they're not high sugar, they've got a lot of carbs. Um, even like a chewy granola bar, like just an off-brand, you know, store-brand granola bar with chocolate is going to be 100 calories and 20 carbs. It's a lot, especially for people who are trying to avoid that. Um, I'm going to review these next week, actually, because I haven't used them yet, but just giving you an idea of things to look for. These ones are actually um, less sugar, and they use... Uh, low glycemic index syrup instead. So I'll let you know how they do. In the meantime, I wanted to talk about making your own. So one of the things I do when I'm on a hike is make sure I have some way to con control blood sugar. If I start to go a little bit low, I can have a granola bar, but I make them myself. So in my case, what I'd like to use to start with, peanut powder. This stuff is really good. Um, I really like it. You use it just to, you just replace maybe half of your flour or even three quarters of the flour with this. This is low fat, no sodium, no cholesterol, eight grams of protein, one gram of sugar, which is fine, and two grams of fiber. So that sugar isn't even, doesn't matter. So the best part about the peanut powder is it's low fat. You can also use it in place of peanut butter in sandwiches and other things if you mix it with some water. There's instructions on each package of how to do that. There's all sorts of different brands for it, and as long as you're careful when you look, make sure you get the ones that are low sodium, the ones that are low fat. They're fantastic, and it's a great way to make sure you have protein and energy without having to resort to lots and lots of granola and, and lots and lots of honey or sugar. I also replace some of my flour with flaxseed. That's mostly just for the fiber. Same idea, more fiber means you can deal with more sugar and so your body is, it's, you know, I'll go into that in another video as well. In the meantime, I also do uh, cranberries and raisins. They're both great. They do a good job. They're You know, they're the, they're the sugar that you get and some extra vitamins and that tartness and sweetness that you're going to want in a, in a granola bar because, you know, it's the big thing. Yeah, you can get a bag of nuts, you can get a bag of jerky, you can do lots of options for taking food with you and eating it as a snack. But a lot of the time, the taste, the flavor, it's just not there and... If you do that too often, you're going to get sick of it, and you're going to want something. So my solution, <clears throat> agave syrup, which is low glycemic index, which is perfect. I use this has been for three batches of granola bars so far, and I barely touched, barely scratched the surface on it. And a little bit of Splenda, uh, sucralose. Seems to work really well. Gives you that extra sweetness to go with the tartness from the raisins and the cranberries, and it's, I can't complain. Um, a couple of ingredients I didn't have. Um, I have some, I normally use oats along with it, just some, you know, fresh ground steel or steel cut oats. Not a lot because they are high carb, but some is good because fiber is good. I also use uh, no salt peanuts. Again, trying to stay healthy nice thing with them is the, f the fiber and the sugar are all there and it's a little bit more fat which is nice to go with the peanut powder 
I know it seems a little strange, but this gives me a ton of protein. Otherwise, I'd have to use more of these. So that's why I tend to use the, the peanut powder as well. Um, mix it all together in whatever, whatever quantities you want. Put a little bit of flour or rice flour in as a binding agent. Um, the agave syrup, mix a little bit in when you mix it, and then put a little bit more on top. You're going to bake it in an oven in a pan like this, or even like a muffin baking tray. I really like the muffin baking trays because you can do individual serving sizes without having to cut it. You just pull it out and throw it in the freezer and you're good to go because if you with these things if you put them in a freezer the last months so you can make a big batch you can make a lot of small batches put them in baggies and freeze them and they'll last you you know a single batch will last you a month's worth of workouts so you bake it at 225 for two and a half hours the great thing is the agave will melt down into it and help bind everything together as long as you don't touch it you're fine. Pull it out, let it cool, cut it up if you've got it in a cake pan. If you have it in the muffin trays, just pull them out one by one and stick them in baggies. They're low calorie. I think I did the math for it once and came out to about 65 calories per muffin size. If you do about a half inch to a three quarters of an inch tall, um, that comes out to about 65, 70 calories. And they're great. They give you just the amount of sugar you need. Excuse me, just the amount of sugar you need to get back up to your whatever blood sugar that you've been burning off from all the exercise. They give you something to crunch on, and they crumble just enough without actually falling apart. That you've got a great taste, you've got a great texture, you've got a great little thing, and it's cheap. These ingredients have lasted me, except for the almonds and oats, which I'll have to go buy have lasted me typically months you can you know it's gonna be I think I've had these peanuts for six months still and I'm still just barely halfway through the bag you don't need a lot of ingredients to make it and again it's all about moderation like anything else and they're great they do a really good job and they're nice um, so yeah, I'm also going to try these out this weekend because I've got a long biking trip coming up. Last weekend I did a hike and the John Wayne Trail, which is interesting. It's not actually a trail. There's a trail that goes up to it, but it's actually what used to be an old uh, train track through the mountains, um, which is really cool because it's flat. So we did six miles on that and got some good exercise in on Sunday. And... So my father-in-law just bought a bike, which is going to be great because that means I get to start using my bike again because I'm one of those weird social people who it's so hard to be motivated without somebody doing exercise alongside you. That's me. That's also why I use um, Planet Fitness for my workouts because you can sign up for a class and you're there with other people, which keeps you motivated and keeps you going. Um, I would love to try any of your recipes for homemade granola bars or homemade whatever. If you've got something, send it to me. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know what I should try to make. And I'll keep going on it. Um, at the same time, I'll keep looking at other products. I've got a couple of things that, I'm, that I've ordered that I'm waiting to come in. Different noodles and different uh, other things that we'll see how they do. Um, and I'll talk to you guys next time.